Okay, so I think after a year of use, it's time to review my Stages power meter. I got uh, two units, one here, which is from a TT bike that is currently not in use, and one on my road bike, which is here. Both are the Shimano Durace models, which means that you got a basic Durace left crank arm, which you replace with one It has the Stages power meter bonded to it with its train gauge so it measures your power. Actually it's quite a simple and robust system. It uses one strain gauge which is bonded to the aluminum surface of the crank and thus measures the deflection of the crank arm and calculates that to get your power reading on a Garmin. <clears throat> one feature which is, which is not very uh, common amongst other power meters is that it supports both N Plus and Bluetooth Smart but I don't think this is uh, very important because most uh, most devices use N Plus anyway so what you get is uh, in the box some ID card short manual stickers so basically just uh, the crank arm itself with the power meter bonded to it and you take your standard crank and come off and put this one on I found that it's also quite important to get the torque reading right so here now auto focus on this but it should say that you should tighten these pinch bolts to around 12 to 14 newton meters that way you you get the precise measurement every time the stages is actually one of the more user-friendly power meters because unlike SRM and some others you can change the battery yourself you just undo this little plastic hatch and it's, it's done it's a standard CR2032 battery in there on a disc cover uh, mind you that this is the new version of the stages it has a revised design in this list, little plastic cover which is much stronger and more importantly uh, absolutely waterproof I wrote this a lot in the rain with pressure washing normal washing and no uh, water ingress in this one year of use on both devices so that's a, that's a great improvement overall this is a sturdy simple reliable unit uh, it has of course the limitation of being left only so it's not uh, not really the most precise way to judge your power but it's it's a good good entry and a good option if you already have a Durace or not not really Durace but uh, any Shimano Holoptec 2 crank most stock bikes come with Shimano cranks so if you already have one it is price wise and compatibility wise one of the best options but since the recent price drops price drops from Quark uh, power to max and others if you are building a bike from scratch I think it's it's wise enough to choose a complete power meter f with readings from the spider or a complete dual system because it it will get much cheaper than this uh, this option. The power reading itself, I had one one problem with it, and that is uh, the lag compared to an SRM which basically shows your power instantly and worries a lot uh, the stages unit takes I would say four to five seconds before it before you can actually see what you are doing for example after if you put in a hard, short hard effort then this short hard effort will be visible in the numbers on a Garmin around four or five seconds after it started so that's that's a bit of a irritation 
otherwise the numbers are quite reliable and consistent it uh, itself adjusts for temperatures so no real calibration is needed but I have well you shouldn't but I have spotted during the summer a bit of a scheme there if the temperatures are around 30, uh, 30 centigrade then it, it reads a bit lower than usual let's say it's autumn now <clears throat> right, 10 to around 10 to 15 degrees and it's it's reading a bit higher I don't think my fitness has changed that much to show this increase in numbers uh, from the summer so I don't know what <laughs> was the reason for that so just a quick look is the unit it itself it also has its own smartphone app so that's good for the first reset after installing it it also gets some new firmware updates from time to time so it's it's worth checking it out the battery life I found that it lasts around 100 hours on, on one battery so that's quite half of what what they say it should but it's it's not bad nevertheless so that's my review of the stages power meter I have a lot of new products uh, coming to my bike soon so stay tuned to check them out